Welcome to Max in 5, I'm going to teach you some cool stuff inside 3ds Max in under 5 minutes. So now that we're in Max, let's go to the front view, right there, front view. Let's go creation, let's go plane, click and drag. What's really important is a lot of length and width segments. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a box and this is going to act like the rail. Let's go to the left view because I need to put it more or less in the middle because remember we want the curtains to actually hang on the rails. Top view, make sure that we're happy with where it's positioned. Sticking to the top view, I'm going to grab another plane and I'm going to click and drag that right there. I'm going to call this one floor, curtains, I'm going to call the rail. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to animate this box so that it is going to be attached to the curtain so when it gets animated the curtains will follow and then we're going to also include this as the floor so when the curtains fall onto the floor it will interact with that as well click on the curtains modifier let's go to modify list press c for cloth right over there what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on object properties right there we've got curtains which is perfect add objects click on the floor click add on the floor make sure you click on collision object because it is going to collide with the actual curtains the curtains will be a cloth. This right here is called presets. Just select any one you want, but makes more sense to put on cotton. And then I'm gonna click the OK button. What we need to do is we need to go and actually animate the railing. So let's go to front view. This button right here, hierarchy, affect pivot only. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap the pivot all the way to the left. Make sure you're on frame zero. Click auto key. Click this button here, which says set key. Let's scroll to, let's say, the 25th frame. And I'm just going to scale it just like that. Deactivate Auto Key. Go back to frame 25. Click Auto Key again. What I'd like to do now is I'm going to click the W, which is the Move tool, and drag it downwards. Deactivate that. Scrolling left and right, your box should look like this. Okay. Let's go to frame 0 now. Click on the cloth. I want you to go to the cloth, the arrow, and click on Group. I want you to select the top set of vertices. Then we're going to make a group. You can call this anything you want, you can leave it at default, that's fine. Click the OK button. The method that I do is node. Clicking node and then clicking the box and you'll see there group 001 node to rail. Now go into the cloth, click here self collision, tick that on and set that to a 1. Now what that is going to prevent is the actual object, which is our curtains, to overlap one another and actually collide with one another. So all we need to do now is click on the simulate button. Okay, now that that's done, if I scroll all the way to the left and simply click the play button, look how cool that looks. The next thing that I want to show you is how to add a wind modified. So what I need to do is go past the 25th frame. Any frame is fine, past 25. What I want you to do is select both of these keyframes that we created for the box. So make sure the box is selected, past frame 25 and delete those two. The next step what you can do is we need to kind of pick a frame that we really really like of the curtains. The reason being is because if you look over here the curtains start then end all the way there. So we can't have the wind blowing from let's say this frame or even these frames. There's got to be a frame past 25 because then it will actually still be tethered to the rail. So I'm going to pick, let's say, frame 17. That looks really, really good to me. Clicking on this object, it's really important to click Set Initial State. At first, it appears nothing has actually happened. But have a look here. I can still animate, or rather, I can still scroll through the entire animation. But look what happens at frame 0. Frame 0 is the beginning now. So we've basically convinced Max that frame 0 is where it should start. The next thing that I want to do is I need to create a wind force. So underneath creation, underneath right over there, forces, we're going to grab wind and let's put this at a 5. So we need to click on the curtains now. We need to go to cloth forces, select the wind we just created, click this arrow here, click the OK button. You need to erase the previous simulation. The only thing left is to simulate. Okay, now that that's done, let's scroll all the way and have a look at our new animation. Let's click the play button, and there you can see, beautiful curtains blowing in the wind. 